What's up beautiful people, this is Ash Johan from Ash Your Creation and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all of you guys are doing extremely well. Well guys, today in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a photo manipulation just like, you know, Tony Mafood, who is a very famous Instagram, you know, model as well as social influencer do follow him on instagram so basically in this video i'll show you how you can change the background like him and create a very similar color grading with you know gold skin tone in photoshop so if any further delay let's jump to the video till then guys be creative and be awesome The very first thing we're gonna do is just crop the image. So select the crop tool and select 8 is to 10 ratio, which is our Instagram ratio, because we wanna put this photograph to our Instagram profile. So just crop the image to 8 is to 10 ratio. <coughs> now we're gonna select this photograph for the model image by using the quick selection tool. So just select the quick selection tool and just click on this plus icon. Roll all over the subject's body to make it selected in a proper way or else you can also use the pen tool you know to select it proper and a precise way. I have already made a you know duplication or the cutout of the image of the model. So you can select the minus tool to deselect that portion where you don't want to select. Now just right click on it and select label copy option. You can also press Ctrl J directly from the keyboard to make a duplication of the selection which you have made. Now we're gonna add the background to the photograph. So you can just download this background from the links down given in the description or directly from our website. So let's browse the background and here is the background and we're gonna put this background to our photograph to make it look just like you know Tony Mefford theme. Just drag and drop over here. Go to the edit and select the free transform or directly press Ctrl T from the keyboard and just press Shift and Alt key from the one corner and just drag it so that everything would remain perfect. You know the perspective and all. Now just adjust the background where you want to keep. Let's say this is the background which I want to place it. So the very first thing all we're gonna do is just uh, let's create, uh, go to the adjustment, let's select the levels and click on the clipping mask. Just move from left to right in order to ma make more darker the background. You can adjust whatever kind of you know color effect or brightness you want. So you can see the difference. Here is the before and here is the after. Now it is merging with the background layer. Now let's just duplicate it and go to the blending option and select the soft light and just make a, a little bit of soft light. Just make opacity to around 20 by 25 to 30 around. So you can see the difference. Now just merge both the layers. Now we're gonna make a dodge and burn tool on the face region so just select the marquee tool and just right click on it and create new layer and fill it with 50% gray. Ctrl D to deselect and just change the blending. First of all we're gonna clip the clipping mask to the below layer and just change the blending mode to overlay. Select the you know burn tool and just make the exposure to around 9% and just make a little bit of you know burning on this area and just to select the mixture brush to you know smoothen the skin and you can select see the wet to 37 load to 31 mix to 34% floor to 46% and just smoothen your skin a little bit don't add too much of smoothening otherwise your photograph will look unnatural which you don't want so just make a little bit of you know smudging or the smoothings of the skin area on the face just like this way hmm. 
Now again select the burn tool and just make more darker on this area because this will actually you know enhance your cheeks and just make it a perfect jawline so you can see the difference here is the before and here is the after now again let's select the mixture brush tool and just make more smoothening of the skin on this area Just do the smoothing on all over the area where you want on the face region. You can see the difference here is the before and here is the after. Are we gonna add I know more still a little bit of you know burn tool on the face region? This is the very important part of the you know editing. The burning and dodging. You can see that Ronnie Mafood mostly used this process in his photos to look more better. So we're gonna do the same process over here. So you can see the difference. Now just merge both the layers or let's just create new layer. Let's add some kind of you know dodge in the image. So just make the exposure to around seven. Just add a little bit of you know dodging on this area. So you can see the difference. Just a little bit over here. You can see the difference. Here is the before and here is the after. Now just merge both the layers. Right click on it and select merge layers. Now again let's create new layer and create a clipping mask, select the brush tool and just pick up the point or the color over here by pressing the alt key. Just paint it with the nearest color of the skin in order to look more realistic, we gonna just do this process. Let's do it on this eye region also. Now you can select the eraser tool and just delete it from here. Unwanted hairs or selection which is which you don't want, you can just erase it by using the eraser tool. So finally you can just merge both the layers and go to the filter select the liquify and we're gonna just stretch the hairs of the you know model because we want a little bit of you know enhanced hairs so we're gonna do the stretching so select the liquify and just increase the size of the brush by pressing the bracket key from the keyboard just add a little bit of you know stretchness from here now this one is looking kind of you know perfect yes you can just adjust in your whatever kind of you know hairs you want you can do it. so you can see the preview here is before and here is after now just hit ok and finally we are gonna just merge the background layer So we're gonna save this selection for our future so select and just add a layer mask or the alpha over here now just merge both this background layer just right click on it and select merge layers 
and now we're gonna blur the background layer first go to the filter select the you know, first we're gonna crop the background just hit ok and enter now go to the filter select the blur and just select the you know tilt shift blur because we don't want that gaussian blur or box blur we, we want to add the tilt shift ball blur you know that will actually make it look kind of in you know, a perfect moody like so just place this uh, mark your the selection over here and just add a blurness don't add too much of you know blur just add a little bit of you know blurring to kind of extend where it looks you know original or realistic now this one is looking pretty much perfect you can add the light bouquet over here but i don't think it is much needed so you can add a little bit of you know bouquet over here and just hit ok <coughs> So now let's just create new layer. Above this subject layer, so we're gonna just merge layer. Before merging, we're gonna do the same process of you know. Before doing the camera filter, we're gonna just make the you know light on the hairs because the lamp is below the background of the you know hairs. So we're gonna just create new layer, create a clipping mask and select the brush tool and just pick the color from this area and just add a little bit of you know lights on the hair region so that it may look more realistic and original. Make it to soft light and just add a little bit of you know whiteness or the brush over here in order to look more realistic and original. Now just merge both the layers, right click on it and select merge here, merge all the layers. Now we're gonna go to the filter and select the camera and finally we're gonna add the effect on the image. So go to the directly you know, the preset tab and select the you know, Tony Mafo inspired preset. This preset I have already given you. So you can just download it from the links down here in the description or directly from our website. So you can just you know use this preset just click on this and you are done here is the FP FP Tony method inspired AVC 2019 you can see the difference it is really looking very similar and amazing just like Tony method so you can add a little bit of you know, adjustment if you want otherwise this one is pretty much perfect you can change the skin color a bit now you can reduce the saturation until your skin becomes a kind of you know gold Now this one is looking pretty much perfect and very close to you know Tony Mafood inspired. You can add some contrast or if you want to adjust you can always adjust it from here and just hit ok. So finally here it's done and it is looking very very amazing guys. You can add a little bit of you know, sharpness to the photograph in order to make more look cool and you know, kind of detailed way. Now we're gonna add the you know particles of the dust to the image to make it look more realistic and original and kind of view a vintage look. So just drag and drop over here. Select the you know free transport tool or directly press Ctrl T from the keyboard to enlarge the image. Change the blending mode to screen and you can delete unwanted you know particles which you don't want from here. So let's add a layer mask on it and select the brush tool. Pick the black color over here. Increase or decrease the size of the brush. And 
and you can just you know delete it from here you can decrease some opacity and just delete the area where you want so finally guys we have added this you know light or the you know dust particle to the image now just right click on it and select merge layers and just you know select uh, finally here we have completed our process of editing just like Tony Mahfoud so you can see the difference here is the before and here is the after so guys I hope you all have enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then just hit the like button and if you still not subscribe yet then subscribe and hit the you know bell icon to get notified of our videos and presets also visit our website that is www.ashurecreations.com from there you can download backgrounds, camera preset, lightroom preset, mobile lightroom preset and other cool photo reading as well video reading stuff just for free. So guys go and check it out that website. Also guys don't forget to follow me on Instagram just type as you creation. And also we're gonna launch second website that is filterpreset.com. So guys stay tuned on that website also. So guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video. Till then guys be creative, be awesome.